Hello, this is Christopher, and welcome to episode 21, part 2 of putting the baseball card collection together, where I do just that. I work on putting my baseball card collection together. Feel free to either work on your collection while I work on mine, or open up some packs of whatever sports cards or uh, pop culture cards that you may collect, and and we'll get we'll get going. So I went ahead and sorted the rest. In part one, I was sorting the regular uh, base cards, whatever you want to call them, into uh, what one through ninety nine and one hundred through one ninety nine, and then two hundreds. Um, I went ahead and sorted the rest of them so we don't have to spend half of the next video doing that. So now what I'm going to be doing is sorting by 10 so it makes it easier to go by, you know, single digits. So I'm going to be like 1 through 9, 10 through 19, and so on and so forth, 20 through 29. So we'll see how this goes with uh, without the sorting tray. I thought I might be able to do it okay but we'll see so that was 84 so put that i'll put that down here i guess all right six 64 eight so that's the first one all right so let's see here yeah feel free to do whatever i'm gonna be working on my baseball card collection hence the name it's a vlog like series i mean i talk about stuff nothing in particular sometimes i talk about stuff that i've done over the past few weeks or vacations or whatever but and sometimes baseball talk even though i seems like i don't talk about baseball too much in these but maybe you'll get to know me a little bit if from these videos but it's been a while since i've done one of these so, I am rusty at it. Well, not necessarily rusty, but, you know, just anxious, I guess, to get, get going with this. Oh, hey, what happened here? Oh, laundry's done again. <laughs> 90 here. There we go. 40, 30, 20. So I was missing the 10s right there. Laundry's done. Yeah, I'm not sure if this will be three parts or four parts. It may end up being four parts because I have to sort sort the those yet. The well, I sorted the inserts and parallels, but I did not put them in order. I, I made the Next video may be putting them in order, but I may put them in order beforehand. So I'll just sort as I can here and then put the rest in order. And then next video, maybe part three will be the binder part, putting the cards and baseball cards into the binder. Yeah, these are 2019. Oh, Shohei Otani. 2019. Tops Chrome, as you can see. That's what we're working on. 2019 Tops Chrome. That's why I'm working on anyways, <laughs> sorting them out and getting them ready because I'm going to be putting this set, whatever I got this year, into a binder. And I'll be, you know, open opening a brand new binder and everything. So I can show you what I get at my my LCS. It's really, really nice. has a bunch of stuff that comes with it. And it's only $13. It's, you, get, you get a bunch of stuff with it for that $13. It's well worth it, in my opinion comparable to what you can get online and stuff All right so we're moving i got the 50 here 28 6 68 goes here i have to sort of pay attention so i don't miss sort something because that's what i tend to do because i can't multitask for some reason i just don't know but that's the way it goes. <laughs> Ooh, got quiet since the laundry is done. <laughs> Silence. 71, 91, 
31. I'm going to have to get out my, uh, next time, get out my 2018. Uh, I don't even know where the rest of it, my 2018 Top Series 2, I don't even know where the rest of it is that I opened, besides what I've opened this past week. Because, you know, last year I opened it when it was relevant, but I took to trying to, I took to trying to get, you know, pull the Acuna Jr. bat down, which is worth some, a little bit of money. Um, I was actually thinking about getting some cards graded for the first time. I've never gotten any cards graded. Um, let me know what's a good place to get them graded at. What's the best, the best, uh, whatever company. I know Beckett does it, but I'm not sure. I think I like the other, I think the other one's more trustworthy or something. I don't know. Because sometimes you tend to get like rubber, rubber stamp, uh, what you call it? Gradings. Oh, there's a hundred one. Rubber stamp. You don't want rubber stamp. You want it, the quality to be graded as what the quality is. Not just like glance over it and just give it a nine or whatever. And clearly it should have been like something else. Cause I've seen some videos where it's like, you know, you got this autograph. Uh, and it got a either really low or really high rating and it should have been like something else in the opinion of, you know, the owner of the card and stuff. But, you know, you probably have that with any other company. Um, dang. See, I'm not even familiar with all the different companies that, let me say the word company again, <laughs> companies that, uh, grade cards. So... Yeah, let me know what's, what's a good place because I might get a couple uh, graded here and there. Make the, uh, not necessarily for my collection, but it might make the, you know, the cart say, for example, if I got one of those Akinia back down cards, I'll send it out to be graded and then be worth even, hopefully even more if I get it graded or whatever. Stuff like, you know, stuff like that. Because the cards even... You know, low value cards are worth just a little bit more just because of graded. If they're graded, you know, good, whatever, excellent mint, whatever mint, near mint, puts the value up a little bit. So it might sell for a little more. You know, for example, say a $20 card that's regularly 20 bucks, sell it at regular top loader. If you get graded, it might say sell for 30 bucks. I don't know. See, I'm not into that, but it may. I don't even know how much or if it's even worth it to get cards graded. I mean, is it worth it? I'm sure if you do it like in bulk, it's a lot cheaper if you send out cards in bulk. I think I heard heard that. But yeah, I'm not really looking to get into grading cards. I'm just looking to, like if I have some cards that are maybe worth worth some money, send them out to get graded and then you know, put them up on the bay and stuff because it will increase their value by slightly. So how did your team do this your year? Congratulations, uh, Nationals and Astros. Astros had a good run. It was a great, great series. The <clears throat> visiting team won every game for the first time ever. That was, that was really, really weird. The visiting team won every game but yeah congrats nationals um went to game seven couldn't have asked for a better series seven games nice hard fought whatever you know you like to see it go to seven because it's more exciting you know so much on the line the championship so it's one game for the championship instead of like okay well they're up four games to one and then whoop just puts too, I think, too much pressure once a team gets up that the the other team, you know, one team can relax once they're if they're at like three three zero up three games and none three games and one, you know, they're more can be a little more lax. Not saying that they're really lax, but you know, a little more lax. Whereas the other team, like they have that pressure of, you know, they must win or they will go home and not win the championship. So yeah, yeah, it was a great great series. 
a lot more runs were scored than I thought. Oh, that's a six. What's that doing there? There was a lot of a lot of scoring. Usually you don't see that because they, you know, pretty much rotate pitchers in and out as well at will. Man, it's the way modern baseball goes. They just put a guy in for an inning, and that's all you get. And another guy in for an inning. Yeah, anyways, well, my Phillies didn't do too great at all. Well, they, I think they did one game better than last year. <laughs> I knew their pitching was going to falter, and I, I did predict that at the beginning of the year. I said, well, I don't expect the Phillies. I, I expected them to do better than what they did. I think they were ravaged by injuries. But what, what team wasn't ravaged by injuries and stuff like that? But, yeah, poor Bryce Harper, <laughs> his old team won the World Series. So there was a kind of a joke at our Halloween party at work. Someone said, uh, yeah, I heard uh, the Phillies are looking to get rid of Bryce Harper so they can win the World Series next year. Ha, 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 ha. It is kind of funny, though, but poor guy. <laughs> Jeez. Hopefully they'll do better. Um, yeah, they got the the old skipper from the Yankees. That's going to be exciting. Yeah, got rid of Kapler. He was, seemed like he was like too much of a stats man. He didn't go with, you know, his instincts and stuff like that. So hopefully I'm looking forward to this year. See how, see how we do under this manager that won championships for the Yankees. Took him to the playoffs several times and stuff. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's coming together already for him because I believe his original bench coach that he had with the Yankees uh, is, oops, this is 100s. Oh, I'm on the 100s already. Okay. Yeah, his bench coach has already been there and stuff, so yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna do this here. All right, let's go into the hundreds here. So I got the tens sorted by ten. Now we'll do the one hundred sorted the same way. Okay. So next year will be interesting for the Phillies. Hopefully the uh, some more players will be back. Plus it'll be interesting to see who signs from free agency, whatever, you know, or ex ex extended. I don't think Arietta's going to stay for another year or something, exercising his last year option. I think... Hopefully he'll do better. This man didn't do too good this year. Of course, Aaron, Nol Aaron Nola's locked in, I think. I think he's locked in. And so is Reese Hoskins is locked in. Bryce Harper's locked in for another, what, uh, 13, 12, 12 more years? Was it 10 years? 12? It was 13 year due? I don't know. It's so long ago. So he has 12 more years ago? I don't know. <laughs> I know is I am sorting some baseball cards on a Sunday morning. Ah, there we go. The unsung, unsung part of baseball card collection collecting is putting your cards together in order. <laughs> yep. Oh, probably didn't get half of them on camera, but oh well. Try to get this here. Yep. Man. 15 minutes in.
yeah, eventually this will be live. I just, I don't know what, it would probably be a lot quicker and easier if I just went live with this because I wouldn't have to worry about recording three video, three long videos and uploading them because when you go live, all you have to do is just hit the, uh, whatever upload button and it just, it's already in there automatically. It's already automatically uploaded. All you have to, all it has to do is just process. I guess you just have to wait for the video to process and it's, and then it's, uh, uploaded or whatever on your channel. probably have a little more of wherever the Phillies cards are from folks sending me some Phillies cards here and there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I, I will most likely have all of the Phillies cards of this set. So I will. Yeah, trying to keep it on camera. It's hard because I gotta, you know, sort. Here we go. I'll just keep it down here. There we go. I'm just gonna go like this for now. It is. How's your collection coming along? I have a lot of stuff to do. I have a lot of cards to put together. I could probably make a video every day for like years on just putting my collection together. Like years, literally, I have so many cards I need to put together. So many different sets and everything. I've been slacking because, you know, uh, I'm into baseball card collecting, but I'm not into <laughs> putting my collections together. I really need to get, get with it with that. Oh. But there's just so many other things that, you know, I'm interested in. I'm sure I... I love collecting cars and opening packs and seeing what's what's in that next pack. Lots of goodies and stuff. But at the same time, I have other things like I can play video games, you know, stuff like that. Like my most recent game is Diablo 3. So I've been playing Diablo 3 a lot. I just got back into that a couple months ago when the last season started. I forget it was been so long like august or something like that and that season's about to end but i don't i played the season for like a couple weeks and i just stopped it was pretty useless i don't know the the bonus that you get with the season because you get whatever a little buff or boost each if you play the seasons but it it was all right it helped but I don't know. So I went back to regular, so I'm just playing regular. I've been playing it since the week that it came out. The week that uh, Diablo 3 came out. The original Diablo 3, not the expansion. I remember it. Um, I was playing WoW or whatever, World of Warcraft, and they had a special where if you signed up for World of Warcraft for, I forget if it was six months or a year, then you get Diablo 3 for uh, for free. So that's what, how I ended up getting Diablo 3. I, I really liked the other two, the original and Diablo 2, of course. But I kind of phased out of those years ago because, you know, you can only play a game so long. But Diablo 2 was definitely my jam back in the day. And stuff. Yeah, I guess they announced at BlizzCon that Diablo 4 is in the works. And it probably won't come out for, geez, another one to two years even probably. Because they were like, it's so early that we're not even going to give an estimated release date. So that pretty much means it's 
year to two years out, if not even more years out. <laughs> so I'm not going to stop playing Diablo 3 for now because knowing that that's not going to be out for a while. I mean, I, I mostly have solo like 99% of my darn time in Diablo 3, so I'm not that high level. Plus, I've taken breaks like years apart and stuff, so... I am not really that high of a Paragon level. <laughs> but, yep. It gets the job done. Like, whenever I do stuff around the house, I could do... I'll do a rift, and then do something around the house, and then do a rift, and then do something around the house. It works works out really well. Either do a rift or a greater rift, and then do something around the house, like unload the dishwasher, and then do a rift, and then <laughs> take out the trash, and then do a rift. It works out. It gives a great uh, stopping point because each rift is whatever, five minutes, six minutes total, you know, after you turn everything in and stuff. But anyways, for example, I even do that whenever I uh, make uh, YouTube videos now, like what I'll do is I'll do a rift or greater rift, whichever I'm doing at the time. I'll do one of those and I'll come down and, you know, do up my pictures for my thumbnail and I'll go up and do another rift and I'll come back down and do the video <laughs> and I'll do another rift and then I'll upload the video and then that'll be that. So it gets, gets the grinding done in the game. It breaks up, breaks it up a little bit, breaks up the grindiness of it. So far, so this is the end of the 100s. Wow, look at that. 22 minutes in. Hmm. Not sure if I want to go three parts or four parts. I think I'm going to go three parts this time. Because you don't want to see more sorting and stuff. So my next video will be... The next video will be putting these in the binder. And hopefully I could do it in 28 minutes. <laughs> so there's that. There's the 100. 100s are done. All right. I didn't see any refractor cards, so I guess... Got them all. Very good. And the 200s I don't have to do because they're all 2-0. All right. <laughs> okay, so now we'll do the 1 through 9s. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I will probably, after this video is done, I will probably go up and do a rift and then come down and start the other video. I mean, ne the next video. <laughs> start filming it, whatever. Because it is a lot of sitting here, uh, wrapping your arms around the camera and stuff like that. and So it's a nice little break. Yeah, that's why you see my arm always going over like this because, you know, the camera's right here. So try not to bump it and make you discombobulated. But yeah, anyways, my, uh, I don't know. I should give out my, uh, what you call it? Yep, one, two, three, four. Okay, my uh, battle tag. So I don't, just don't do. I don't want people slowing me up whenever I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> whenever I want to do something. Because whenever I play Diablo, I'm usually, you know, away from keyboard. Like I said, I usually do a rift and then go away from keyboard to do something. I do a rift and then. Go away from keyboard to do something. So we have to do it like this. All right. So here's one. So number one was Shohei Otane. All right. And then I'll put all my doubles right here. Actually, I'm going to... Okay. I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this. So I do the largest first. There's that. Like that. Okay. Jeez. So flip it like that. There we go. 
see, let me check real quick to see if there are any short prints, which I don't think there are any short prints. All the short prints are the, you know, the different parallels and stuff the, that are there. Hmm. Oops. Yep. Here we go. Starting already with that. Six. Five. This is four. See some doubles. This is the doubles pile right here. Doubles pile. Three. Two. One. Mr. Otani. Okay. Yeah, I played World of Warcraft off and on ever since, oh geez, Vanilla, off and on ever since Vanilla I played it. Man, what's going on here with this? Um, yeah, so, since Vanilla, geez, I forget what version it was on, what patch it was on at the time, one point something, I forget. Before Nax, before it was before the opening of AQ even. What am I doing? One zero, okay. One 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 two. Jeez, <laughs> what are you doing? Three nine. Yeah, it was the opening of Encourage, whatever you call it. I was there before before that even. I remember the turn in? It was pretty cool. You can get. You got rewards for like turning in different supplies and stuff and yours depending on your server your server each individual server had its own uh like how far along they were with the turn-ins and stuff like that so that determined when their individual server got to do the raid uh oh missing number 11 oh no All right. Yep. Missing number 15 as well. Oh man, geez. See how hard it is to get a, a set of Chrome, because you basically, I've opened a lot of blasters and rack packs of this and uh, hobby boxes and hobby packs, jumbo hobby packs. And I think a jumbo hobby box as well. And I still don't have a full, a full set. Anyways, it's 28 minutes. I better wrap this up. So thanks for watching. This has been part two of episode 21 of putting the baseball card collection together. I'll see you in the next one. Um, part three is coming up. See you later.